Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's always my honor to be out here, well connected in nature and bringing you this message of emancipation whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to speak to you concerning the church and the antichrist spirit. And I'm going to show you something for yourself that you would discover in the Bible. And it is so simple to understand what it is really saying to you when you understand the Bible from the anger I am going to show you. First of all, for me today I have to introduce you to this Bible, which is my Bible. Okay, it is called the 66 Books of Magic, the Overcomers Bible. And in this Bible, the name Jesus has been omitted. And there's a blank space for you to write your name or you can write I am. Because the name of God is I am from generation to generation. And that's your memorial. And you can never say I am and not referring to yourself. And I teach that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. For the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. And that the Bible is written symbolically. Also, I teach that the Bible has no reference to anyone who existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that would have taken, an earth, taken place on earth thousands of years ago. I teach that from the beginning to the ending of the Bible that it's all a great psychological jammer and it all has to do with the, the human psyche. Therefore, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now, because I would have omitted the name Jesus out of this Bible, when you read 1 John chapter 4 concerning the Antichrist spirit, this is how it would read when you read it from my Bible, which is this Bible, the 66 books of magic. So if you do not have this Bible, I'm encouraging you to get this Bible. Keep this Bible in your house. Okay, and always remember to write, I am next to the Christ, or your name next to the Christ, okay, to acknowledge your Christ self. This is how it would read in my Bible. First John chapter 4, I would read from verses 2, okay, instead of verses 1, so make it kind of shorter. He said, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that, I am Christ is come in the flesh is of God. You see? So now I remove Jesus and you can now write I am. You can see clearly that when you refuse to say I am and you choose to say Jesus, you're making Jesus your Christ instead of you Claiming your Christ self. Instead of you believing in yourself, you believe in someone outside of yourself. You believe in an entity outside of yourself. And when you do that, you are denying your Christ self. You are going against your Christ self, your higher self. But hear what it says when I, when I read down more. So let me just go back from the start. He said, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that I am Christ is come in the flesh, is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that I am Christ, you see, that I am Christ, is come in the flesh, is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Where, wherefore, ye have heard that it shall come, and even now already is it, is it in the world. Now, this is showing you that anyone who doesn't accept the fact that I am Christ and realize that you cannot say I am and not referring to yourself, anyone who doesn't recognize that, they are holding to the Antichrist spirit because they will be speaking against their Christ self and they are going against their Christ self and they will be looking outside of themselves to an idol. And that is why... Because I would have removed the word Jesus, which is the idol, which is the lie, 
from the Christ and allow you to put your name or to put I am. You see how clearly it is showing you that the Antichrist spirit is those who do not believe in themselves. Those who do not love themselves and embrace themselves. They do not believe in their God self. They do not believe in their higher self, which means they do not believe in their creative self. So they cannot tap into their true creativity, their true ability, and provide more value to the rest of humanity. So they are living in their lower self. Because they are not living in their higher self. And the people who you find like that are mostly religious people. People who are superstitious. So the people who are religious and superstitious, they are in actually mental slavery. And they are in idolatry. And they are the ones who are saying that their body is the church, yet they are referring to a place that they attend every Saturday and Sunday at the church and contradicting themselves when they can only be one church. They can only be one temple. They can only be one house of God. And the Bible tells you in Acts chapter 17 that God do not dwell in temples made of hands. So this is the only temple that wasn't made of hands. It came from thought. Everything came from thought to matter or from spirit to matter. When you have a thought, it is invisible. It is invisible. It is without form or void. You are the one who put the picture or put the image to it. And it will materialize after a certain amount of time, which is actually a series of events that will take place in your life and bring it to pass. So you are the Lord and Master. You are the Creator. You are the one who controls your destiny because it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and creating your personality. That's why you're told, as I said before, that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, those who believe in themselves and look within, they will discover that the kingdom of God is within man. They wouldn't be looking outside for the kingdom. Those who are looking at the outside for the kingdom are of the Antichrist spirit because they will never discover that the Christ spirit is within. Which is the Christ consciousness. Which is you coming to your right mind. That is you operating in all of your senses. So you're not just living in the realm of the five senses. You tap into the sixth sense. And you're acknowledging your higher self and you're living from the fourth dimension, you're, because you're thinking fourth dimensionally, you're tapping into the inner world, you're tapping into the inner Christ, you're not looking for outside Christ, because you realize that Christ is the higher self, and there's no other name, that fit, to be next to the Christ, but I am, which is your name, and that's the name of everyone, from generation to generation, and that's your memorial, because the universal question of life, would always be who am I, and when the answer comes, it must be I am. I am that I am, which is to say I am whatever I believe myself to be. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So the Antichrist spirit is in the church system. It is in the religious system. And the religious system is tied, tied to the political system. So the political system and religious system, they all intertwine. And they, and they use the education system to impress your subconscious mind with the religious and political system also. And that is why the also school system is to shape your mind to be a part of the rat race, to get good grades and then look for a job and chase after money. But you are money. Because when you discover your, your Christ self, you realize that everything is just energy, vibration, and frequency. And money is energy. And you are a mass of energy. And energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transmuted. It can be transformed. And that is why it can only be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So all those who are looking at the outside, they're missing the, the law of mentalism. Which means... They do not even understand how the mind works. They do not even realize that a book can never be written and it was false at, and it wasn't false at all. Our false mental. Our false psychological. Could you believe that someone could be that dumb that they do not even realize that uh, before anyone could write any book, it had to first be a thought. 
It had to first be an idea, it had to first be imagined. And many people hold on to a book that was written by men. And always refer to it as the, as the, as the, the word of God. But I'm saying to you, the mouth of God is the mind of man. Because God and man are one. Because God and man is man's imagination. The creator and everyone. There's no creator outside of yourself. If there was a creator outside of yourself, who create the creator? And there who create the creator, creator. And it will go on and on and on. So it's time to wake up and stop being influenced by the Antichrist spirit, which is the spirit that have you to go against yourself and have you to believe in a God outside of yourself and have you to believe in a blonde, a blonde hair, blue eyed man of 2,000 years ago. It's a lie. It's the slave master idol. It's the slave master way of keeping you in slavery, a puppet to your state of slavery. But what kind of slavery is it? It's mental slavery, not physical slavery, but mental slavery. But that mental slavery we keep in physical slavery also because you just believe from the physical senses. So you walk, walk, walk like a jackass. Or even more than a jackass, like a mule. Chasing after money. But I'm saying to you, you have the power that create money. Use that power to achieve your every desire by claiming your Christ self. Believe in your Christ self. Go before the mirror and declare your Christ self. See God in your image and your likeness. And that is why when you have this kind of Bible, you've been empowered with this kind of Bible. A Bible without any Jesus. A Bible without any idol. And whatever you speak about the one that can create all things, it is your name that is next to it. When you write your name, or you write I am. I prefer to write I am. That's why you can now go and read in, 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 in First John chapter 4 of the Antichrist spirit, and you can see, it is those who, who do not believe in themselves, who do not believe in the I am, who do, who do not know that they are the one who must come to their Christ consciousness, that Christ is an experience, the experience of discovering a higher self. And when you give that to someone else, by believing in an idol that was given to you from 2,000 years ago, you are disempowering yourself. You are making the choice to be a fool. You are making the choice to be a slave. So I'm asking you the question. How long are you going to continue to be a slave? How long are you going to continue to give your mind away? What else can I say to you for you to realize that you must discover your higher self, your God self, your Christ self by looking within and realizing that the kingdom of God is within you and start to love yourself and believe in yourself. And it's as simple as going before the mirror and look yourself in the mirror and affirm good things over your life. Speak your life how you want it to be and prove that you do not have no antichrist spirit. You have the real Christ spirit because you have the spirit that can create all things and that has created all things. Because everything in this world that has ever been made, it was first imagined. And everything else that ever going to be made and would ever be made, it must first be imagined, it must first be a thought, it must first be an idea, it must be in someone's mind. So it's time for all people to wake up and break out of mental slavery. Stop being stupid. Stop being religious. Stop being superstitious. There's no God outside of yourself. God is not a man in the sky. There's no God outside of yourself. And Jesus is not his son. Because Jesus, as a literal man 2,000 years ago, never exists. That's a makeup lie. They give you an idol. But I'm saying to you, you have a Christ self. You have a higher self. You, 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 have, you, have, you have your melanin, that, that invisible fluid. They call it the Christos, the Christ oil that's in you. You want to ear up in you that you have a new life. And when it happens to you, you'll experience the great mighty earthquake. And you will, will hear the unearthly wind, the mighty Russian wind. And you will ascend like a fiery being. And you will have the virgin birth. You will have the resurrection. You will have all of that kind of experience and then you know that the bible is your spiritual autobiography your spiritual autobiography i should say that must be interpreted psychologically but you can never discover it unless you learn to look inwardly and accept the fact that your real identity is your divinity so my brother and my sister I give you enough to realize that the antichrist spirit is in the church system it is in the religious system and the religious system is tied to the political system too so all of them are the same thing that's why you must be separated. Come out from among them and be separate. Believe in yourself. Love yourself. And be more in touch with nature. And understand that everything is connected. 
understand the true oneness and live from your God self, your higher self, your true self, the, the, the part of you that is limitless. That's why you must live and trust your imagination because God in man is man's imagination. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to thank you very much. And I want to say, let this message challenge you to put your, uh, to the test how much you believe in yourself, how much you believe in your imagination. Do it. can change your life. This message will be a life-changing message to you, knowing that you're not part of the Antichrist spirit, knowing that you're, you're not a, a, a god, that, that, that acting like a goddamn fool, jumping up and down in church and saying, speaking in all kinds of tongues and, and, and talking a bunch of foolishness and never learn to think a day for yourself in your whole life. Don't be like that. So my brother, my sisters, challenge yourself. And prove what I'm saying to you. Put your imagination to work. No way you want in this world. And live from your God self. Your God. The three most powerful word that will ever utter from your mouth is I am God. And if I send it to you, send to you. You are God. Live in your God self. And don't give your Christ energy away to another. Claim your Christ consciousness. Okay? So... If this is the very first time that you listen to me and what I'm saying it makes sense to you and is resonating with you, then it is for you. You're ready for it. Okay? And if you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. Okay? And if you like to check out my Patreon, there's a lot of information that's on my Patreon that is not on YouTube. I also have the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously. I have that course on my Patreon also. Now, if there's any other way you would like to support this work, we have a link. It's down below. It's a PayPal link. And feel free to check it out. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.